Hi, and welcome to Cooking with Chris. I'm Chris Kendall, Family and Consumer Sciences Extension Educator with Ohio State University Extension and Tuscarawas County. And we're um, working on a series right now where we're talking about cooking in an electric multi-cooker. Um, this is a small electric multi-cooker. This is a three-quart Instapot, and it's really nice and convenient for if you're wanting to do um, smaller meals, cooking for one or two. Um, I have a rack here in my uh, multi-cooker. Here is my little uh, three-quart uh, bowl, and I always like to remind people not uh, to add their ingredients directly into this or you will have a mess. Um, some other features with our electric multi-cooker, they have a ring, and this ring fits into the lid. Now sometimes people don't realize that they can actually take this ring out and wash it, and uh, you should do that after every use, actually. Take that ring out and make sure that you wash it. Um, this actually also comes off. And then after you have it all nice and washed up, it just uh, pops back in here so you can kind of see, kind of like fitting in a sleeve of a dress. I just go around there and uh, get this all um, sealed back up here. Uh, and like I mentioned, this pops off and on. Um, this is when it's in the sealing position and this is our venting position. Uh, so we're going to make some hard boiled eggs. Uh, hard boiled eggs are quick and easy in our electric multi cooker and I tell you they peel like a dream. Uh, before we get started I'm going to head over to the sink and I'm going to wash my hands. Hands all washed and we're ready to get started. Uh, this is a pretty simple one. Our only ingredients that we need are eggs and some water. I'm going to put about a cup of water into the bottom of my electric multi cooker. Um, you need about a cup so that you can build up adequate steam, so that you can build up pressure, uh, pressurize the unit, and you know progress with our cooking. Um, with my um, smaller electric multi cooker, I'm going to put eight eggs in here. Now, with my big electric multi cooker, I put many more in. I'll usually put in. Um, you know, a dozen uh, or 15 or so eggs in my electric multi-cooker. And I, I do try to position them such that they're sitting up here. Of course, they're not behaving here today. And so I'm just gonna put them right here around this ring, get them all organized in here. And then I'm going to put the lid on my electric multi-cooker there it goes. Um, make sure that it's set for sealing. Now, I like to use um, six minutes of pressure, six minutes of a natural pressure release, and six minutes in an ice water bath. Uh, so that, to me, makes the perfect hard boiled egg. Some people like their eggs a little softer, and so they do five. Uh, so five minutes of pressure, five minutes of a natural pressure release, and five minutes in that ice water bath. Some like them a little firmer, and so they go seven. So five, six, or seven, whatever your pleasure. I like it right there in the middle with that six. We're gonna go ahead. I'm going to set this on pressure cook. So I'm gonna use my pressure cook setting. Oh, must have made eggs last time too. It's set right here for six, and off we go. It's gonna pressurize and then it'll start to count down the six minutes. Our electric multi-cooker has beeped to let us know that the um, six minutes of pressure cooking is done. We're gonna let the time elapse for six minutes of a natural pressure release uh, before we release the pressure here um, by moving this from sealing to venting. Now that our six minutes of natural pressure release have elapsed, I'm going to move this from sealing to venting. I always like to have a long handled uh, utensil to do that because there's gonna be a burst of steam coming out. Steam is hotter than uh, boiling water. So you wanna be careful that you don't have your hand face anything in that proximity and get blasted with that steam as it's gonna be really hot and could burn. So once that uh, button releases, and goes down in. I'm going to transfer my eggs into uh, my container of really cold water. I'm going to let them sit here for six minutes and then I can proceed with peeling and enjoying those eggs. I'll just give us a moment here to there it drop down. Okay, not quite. Almost. There we go. Release that steam away from me. 
again and just transfer these into our cold, cold water. And we'll let them sit there for six minutes. Our six minutes of cooling has elapsed, and I just want to show you how easy these peel, uh, how nicely uh, it does peel with the uh, electric multi cooker. These were newly purchased eggs, and it's just peeling right off of there. And there we go. Hope you enjoy.